Well, this is the beginning of the video. I'm repairing a Honeywell 1% spot meter. 1% is the center, 21% is the angle of viewing. Um, it works when you press the low light, but it doesn't work on the high light. The high light uses a different battery. Now, the battery for the high light goes right down in there and it's an old barrel type mercury oxide type battery which has been discontinued because they leak toxic gases and chemicals and thus had to find something else. We found an article recommending that you build some type of cylinder using a lathe to fit a smaller battery. The battery they recommended, we purchased, the Sony 392. This is a silver oxide battery, which has a very long life and retains the voltage, which is the important part for the accuracy of the spot meter. You can see, holding it up in the battery compartment, I'm even going to drop it in. It's really small, so something has to be done to get that to fit. Also, once we use this battery, it replaces the 1.35 volt mercury uh, battery with a 1.55, so the voltage is a little higher. So the readings are going to be higher. So you have to take the, the meter apart and replace a 1K resistor with a 10K potentiometer that's adjustable. The meter has been taken apart. I don't, you'll sh see more later. The eyepiece had to be unscrewed and removed. The serial number tag had to be removed from the spot right here and that screw. And then it pulls apart. There's a little plastic tab in the center on the top that you sort of have to wiggle a knife into to pop it out of it. Okay. One of the goals is to build another cover because the cap was missing. Experimented already. Cut. And we fitted. We're actually going to do a slightly better, larger OD. This does fit. But there's a small amount of play. I'm going to redo it with just a slightly larger, and we're talking about five thousandths of an inch larger outside dimension before I begin doing the threading. Secondly, we're going to have to hold the battery down into a chamber. So I came up with these nice little plans here. basically shows the area where the battery is going to go, the threaded shoulder on the top, where the cap goes, and this down here is the positive tab, and that's on the inside down there, as you can see. Here's the old battery and the new one in comparison. So my design is to use a piece of Delrin plastic, and we have a sample piece here somewhere. It's a piece of Delrin, and we're going to drill a hole so that the battery will slide into it. Determined using my little drill bit slot that is 5 16th of an inch. So that's the hole that we're going to bore into the delrin. Then at the bottom of that bore we're going to take a Dremel or whatever and create a slot so that the positive part of that tab doesn't get pushed down. When I when I when we put it in there we want that 
tab to be able to fit up slightly into the bottom after we drill it. So this would be the upside down view right there of the tab pressing against the positive side of the battery and then a piece of metal that would push down and hold it into place. <clears throat> so the cap, instead of just having a regular flat cap on the inside, it's going to have a piston and that is what you see in the dark area there. So it would, the cap's going to screw from down here and press and hold the battery onto this small metal tab that's in there. Okay, more to come.